Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft announced big changes to the Windows Insider program earlier this week, as I have been posting, which includes a reboot and rebooting the dev channel. And also, as I have posted earlier today, they've also introduced a new Canary channel for the Windows 11 Insider program, which includes now more experimental, as they're calling hot off the presses features. And I did post a video earlier today, and you can just go check that out if you would be interested regarding the new Canary channel and some of the new features that have rolled out. Now, this week's uh, new Insider build 23403 for the dev channel, which is now the rebooted dev channel, uh, is the first to arrive um, for this week uh, in the new rebooted dev channel and um, is basically um, carrying features from last week. Now, last week, as I posted, was a massive um, update um, in build 25309 last week. And a lot of these... Um, so-called new features in the dev channel for this week, the rebooted dev channel, are actually um, an overflow from last week. And also some of the features, as I have mentioned previously, now that we have a new Canary channel, some of these features have now rolled over as well. One or two have rolled over from the Canary channel into the dev channel. So there is a bit of a bleeding down into the dev channel with some of those new hot, hot of the presses features, as Microsoft did say. Now, what's new in build 23403? And there's quite a lot to get through once again. So if interested, just to go through this as quickly as possible. Um, this feature rolled out last week and has now been reintroduced this week. Um, live captions are now available in more languages. And in case you're unaware, live captions help um, people who are deaf or hard of hearing read live captions in their native language. And live captions are now available in Chinese, that's in simplified and traditional, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, and other English dialects. Microsoft say they will add more languages as they become available. So live captions in more languages are now available in Bolt 23403. Now this next feature um, rolled out in the Canary channel, which I posted on earlier today and has also now been made available in this week's dev channel. Um, access keys in File Explorer is a new feature Microsoft is testing where they say they are adding access key shortcuts into the XAML content context menu in File Explorer. And they describe this as an access key is a one keystroke shortcut that allows a keyboard user to quickly execute a command in the context menu. Each access key will correspond with a letter in the display name as we can see from this screenshot provided moving on to the next and this also was made available for the canary channel this week and is now available in both uh, channels canary and dev file recommendations in the file explorer and that's part of the um, home of the file explorer as we can see and this feature um, will be available to users signed into um, the windows uh, into windows with an azure active directory aad account Files that are recommended according to Microsoft will be cloud files associated with that account, either owned by the user or shared with the user. So file recommendations now available in the File Explorer. And then this also rolled out last week to the Dev Channel Voice Access Improvements where there are redesigned in app com there is a redesigned in-app command help page. And um, the search bar here to uh, the left allows users to quickly find commands and the various categories provide further guidance. According to Microsoft, every command now has a description, as we can see, and an example of its variations, making it easier to understand and use. So voice access improvements. And then the next screenshot also shows us some more voice access improvements. Um, and this is voice access is available in English dialects, which, which also rolled out in last week's dev channel build. And as we can see from this screenshot provided, um, these are English in UK, India, New Zealand, Canada, and English Australia. So voice access is available in more English dialects now. And another feature that has bled over from last week into this week's dev channel build, updated touch keyboard settings where there is, as we can see, a new drop-down menu with three options to control whether tapping and edit control should launch the touch keyboard. So we get never when no keyboard is attached or always. Uh, now the next um, one or two um, new features are minor, but yet for some users may be significant changes. And um, this is a change and improvement where users will now see a copy button for quickly copying two-factor authentication codes in notification toasts from apps installed on 
um, their PC or from phones linked to the PC. So two-factor authentication has a bit of improvement now in build 23403. And this is also a minor improvement, but yet could be very useful for some. Microsoft mentioned they have added a glanceable VPN status into the system tray when connected to a recognized VPN profile. Uh, the VPN icon will be a small shield, as we can see, and will be overlaid in over the active network connection. So, And that's a glanceable VPN status icon, which I actually think would be a nice move in the right direction if that ever did roll out. And then another feature that has um, been carried over from last week, search on the taskbar will be lighter. So if we just zoom in here so you can see it a bit better in the video, um, it's going to be lighter when Windows is set to a custom color mode, specifically when the Windows 11 mode is set to dark. And um, this will be available in the settings personalization colors page where you will see a lighter search box on the taskbar and I actually think that will also be a nice move if that ever did roll out just giving you a bit of options and more customization options when it comes to the search box and the taskbar search and then the last um, new feature when it comes to um, having screenshots to display and this is an input um, improvement where Microsoft have updated um, the simplified Chinese handwriting recognition engine to be faster and more accurate um, as well as it, it also now includes new supported characters. So that's um, input improvement in build 23403. Now that's it for the actual um, images provided by Microsoft uh, in the actual release notes. And just to make mention of a couple of quick mentions, as these are actually new features, but don't have any actual images to demonstrate. Now the first um, quick mention um, also rolled out to the um, Canary channel. So this is also an overflow from the Canary channel. Um, narrator Outlook support. So um, the, the narrator will now retrieve updates to its Outlook support when narrator is started. And um, narrator's Outlook support is limited to US English only at this stage. So take note of that. And Microsoft says they will offer more, they will offer more languages in future flights. And then um, just the last uh, quick mention for the purpose of today's video. Um, there's also a multi-app kiosk mode. And basically what this is all about, um, multi-app kiosk mode is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that is mainly for IT administrators who can select a set of allowable apps to run on the device while all other functionalities are blocked. This enables you to create multiple different apps and access configurations for different user types all on a single device. Now this is very helpful where multiple people need to use the same device maybe uh, in a work environment. So some of the things it will do is it will limit access to settings. Um, it will lock down the start menu to show only allowed apps and block toasts and pop-ups just to mention three examples. So multi-app kiosk mode now being tested in build 23403. So that's it for this week. Quite a lot to have got through. That's um, the new features which are overflow from last week and also an overflow from the Canary channel, and that's now in the new rebooted dev channel build with this week's build 23403. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.